Why do some memories vanish quickly while others linger for years? The answer lies in how our minds process and store information and the fascinating science behind memory and forgetting. Let's begin with the study of memory itself. The first systematic investigation of forgetting was conducted by Hermann Ebbinghaus in 1885. Ebbinghaus memorized long list of nonsense syllables word like z z u c and q a x designed to strip away the influence of prior knowledge he carefully tracked how many trials it took to relearn these list at different time intervals his findings revealed a striking pattern forgetting happens rapidly at first especially in the first 9 hours with the sharpest drop in the initial hour After this the rate of forgetting slows down and little is lost even after many days. Now let's explore some key theories that explain why we forget. Trace decay theory also known as the disuse theory suggests that memory traces the physical and chemical changes in our brains that encode information fade away if they are not used. This theory is one of the oldest explanation for forgetting but it has its limitation. For example, it does not fully explain why people forget more while awake and active than while asleep. Another major cause of forgetting is interference theory. Here, forgetting happens when memory compete with each other during recall. There are two types of interference. proactive interference when an old information disrupts the recall of new information for instance if you have learned to pronounce a word incorrectly you might continue to do so even after being corrected retroactive interference is the opposite the new learning disrupts the old memory but sometimes forgetting is not about losing the memory at all it's about retrieval failure Even if a memory is stored you might not be able to recall it if the right cues are missing think of it like searching for a book in a vast library without knowing its title or author the book is there but you can't find it without the right information context matters too the environment or the emotional state you were in when you learned something can act as a powerful retrieval cue Forgetting is a complex multifaceted process influenced by time interference and the availability of retrieval cues 